tired of wrong results in calculated fields, here is a pivot table secret to fix it. I have some data about Toronto weather in 2024 and I want to analyze it. So I created a pivot table. I drag the day to the rows and I drag the month to the filter and the max and min to the values area. I change the function from sum to average. Now I want to calculate the temperature difference for each day of the year. So I create a calculated fields on the pivot table analyze tab. I click on calculated fields and I'll be naming my field temperature spread. And for the formula, I subtract the min from the max. Now I get the difference for each day of the year. What if I want this difference by month? Then I switch the days and month. Now look at the numbers in the temperature spread column. They are not realistic and they are totally wrong. So to get a correct result, I need to divide by the number of days in each month. And that requires creating a helper column in the source data. I will name it number of days and I just add one for each row. Adding this one for each month will represent the number of days in that month. I want to edit the calculated field and I divide the max by the number of days and the min by the number of days. When I hit OK, I get the correct result. Let's format it. Want more pivot table tips? Check out other videos in this series and don't forget to like and subscribe.